One of the main functions of protein is muscle repair and muscle growth. So if you're training, then consuming a adequate amount of protein can be beneficial to your progress. Some research found that consuming protein immediately after workout has the most benefits in terms of muscle repair and muscle growth. That is why companies set out to create products like protein shakes to save you having to take a whole meal into the change rooms after a workout with you. Now, although those research findings are definitely true, the timing of your protein is minimal, which I'm going to cover more later. The short answer is no. You can definitely get an adequate amount of protein in your diet without taking any protein supplements. If you have tried to make adjustments to your current diet and find that you are still lacking in protein, then the use of protein supplements may be very useful to you in order to increase your protein intake. If you are consuming enough protein in your diet already, then there is no need to take protein supplements as there is no additional benefit other than trying to increase your protein intake. People who I recommend protein supplements to would be individuals whose main goal is muscle growth and struggling to meet protein targets, or individuals that have tried making adjustments to their current diet. A vegan, for example, although it is definitely possible to eat enough protein on a vegan diet, they may find it easier by using a protein supplement rather than just food alone. The best type of protein to have is completely dependent on you. Now, if you're looking to research, although whey protein technically is shown to provide the best benefits in terms of muscle repair and muscle growth, these differences are very minimal. What you should be more concerned with is what's going to suit you best. So you should be thinking of things like how does it taste? Do you actually enjoy the flavor? If you are a vegan, then of course you can't be having whey protein, so you'll have to look down other avenues. And you've got to figure out which ones actually agree with you, because whey, for example, is commonly known to not agree with some people, including myself. Don't get bogged down by which one has slightly more benefit than others. Just because chicken has the highest amount of protein per calories of most foods, it doesn't mean you only ever eat chicken as your protein intake and protein supplements should be the same. Now I mentioned this at the start that that research found that the best time to take protein is immediately after a workout. This shouldn't concern you. This is a very minute benefit this is gonna provide and unless you're an elite athlete, it's something you shouldn't concern yourself with. What should be more important to you is when it suits you best. The main thing here is don't get drawn into the idea that it's vital that you take it at a certain time of day. That really is not the case. So my take home message on protein supplements would be, Although they may be useful to some people, they are not necessary nor a superior source of protein. So never feel that you have to have them and have to spend your money on them, especially if you don't even like them or you haven't addressed more important aspects of your diet yet where time and money is probably better spent.